Ready? Mm -hmm. That's it. No failures. Rounds. Flawless. Here we go. Got the real thing? Go. We're done. That was quick. Failure to extract. Failure to extract? Damn. Hosed. Bolt still not going forward. You want to try racking the mag back in there? See if it'll go? Yep, do it again. It ejected the round. Jeez. I'm being nice by not hosing you down while you're trying to jump it. We're done. I'm calling it. FDE on that one. All right, we really are trying to give the M1A the full benefit of the doubt. This is our fourth attempt in the sand. It has failed so miserably the first three times that frankly we felt something might be wrong or wasn't fair. So we took the whole gun apart cleaned the internals, took the gas system apart, which actually looked fine, got every piece of sand and dust out of there that we could. We're going to give it one last try. This is it. So got a magazine with, I think, 12 or 11 rounds. Not sure. We're going to fire a couple rounds before we go into the sand. Okay. Hey! Wow. <laughs> it did it. Are we going to try the sand or yes. see if it'll even run? Yes. All well, right. What do you want to do? I'm going to do another one. You ready? Yeah. Holy shit. Ah! All right, let's go in the dirt. You want to let me put a few more uh, rounds in it? Yeah, Paul. All right, this is, I think, eight or nine rounds of American Eagle, 168 grain, match ammunition. The box says on it, for the M1A, literally. Give me that box. For M1A. Hold on. All right. I don't know how more fair we can get. I'm going to get in the dirt and we're going to find out what happens. Ready? Yeah. We're done. Okay, it fired one round after we just fired four in a row just fine after we cleaned it. The bolt stuck open. Well, actually, it didn't go full. It didn't stroke all the way. I ran the bolt, and exactly like we saw with the mud, it just it just seized up. It just seized up. So, in fact, hold on. The extractor is barely engaging. It was around in the chamber, but it got stuck. You want to try one more? If you want. Let's do it. Let's just see what happens. I'm not even going to bother blowing sand on it. That's why. All right, I'm in battery. Can you see me? Yep. Rotate the gun down a little bit. Perfect. Yeah. All right. I, I'm done. I'm done. Let's do the moss. Here we go. Stop, stop. 
you're not in battery. It's not all the way closed. Okay. That's, I guess that's it. See if you can clear it. How many rounds do we have left? I ejected two. Yep. That's one part. in the mag. One in there. So we got through six. Six rounds. All right, let's try something else. Here we go. Ready? Is it empty? No, seven rounds. Keep going. And we just have to eat like the M1A. But we got through seven rounds, cleared one, got through the eighth, and then we were done. All right, there we are up close on the chamber. As you can see, that's not worth clearing. And we have an FTE, which we also had in the M1A multiple times. So, been a little bit of a brutal torture test on us doing this. You know, I, I wouldn't have thought this would be the case, but this is in some ways was worse than the mud test. Um, maybe not as gross. But uh, I've been laying in the dirt for a while and in a gas mask for a while. Sweating and, under that gas yeah, mask. Yeah, and uh, we went through this. We really put these guns. We gave them the best chance yep. possible. Um, yeah, four times through that M1A. Yeah, and twice with the M1, uh, with the uh, Moss. We cleaned it and made sure it was ready to go. And, you know, to be fair, that's pretty brutal conditions. And I was a little rough on the M1A, but reality is neither gun exactly passed. Right. But the M1A absolutely failed. So I don't know what you make of that. In fact, all four times it did exactly the same thing. It fired one round and then locked up. Locked up. It locked up in different ways, I think, but it still was the same end result. Yeah. A gun that was at that point inoperable. Yep. This one failed once. I was able to run the action and force it into battery once to get another round. And then at that point, whatever gunk was in there got into the chamber, it FTE'd, and we were done. Right. But we got through... Eight. Well, yeah. Eight on eight. this round. We got through eight rounds, and on this we never got through more than one. Yep. Um... I, uh, you know, I've, I've got other things I could say about the M1A. I used to shoot competitively in high power, and I've got master class and points and all that stuff. Sean Cap Perry. There were some guys that were diehards about the 30 cal, and there's no reason not to be. But they would get them accurized, and these things, even when accurized, would shoot loose after X amount of rounds, and you had to do it all over again. It's just, there's something that's just not there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty frozen, too. Yeah, this needs to get cleaned up now. L like I said, I don't think either gun passed. Well, the problem, so the problem with the M1A is it's got way too many exposed critical surfaces yes that get full of gunk and just stop it that mm -hmm. op rod track is terrible well yeah just um, that, yeah and to be fair that would be on the m1 garand as well yeah garand yep whatever yeah the problem with the moss everything's nicely protected but it's such an open receiver here which i can't even there you go you got it out there we go it's such an open receiver here that every time it's op every time it cycles Every time it cycles, you've got a huge opportunity for dirt to get into it, which is exactly what happened. And eventually, it sticks to the cartridges, it gets between the cartridge and the chamber wall, and, and it, that's I, it. I, I, frankly, I think it would be interesting is another gun that I think is, you know, and it's, 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 it's pluses and minuses. Mm -hmm. A very open action allows you to get into an action when something right. malfunctions. If we have an ammunition-related problem, something like a double feed, having it nice and open like this is great. It allows you to clear it quickly and easily. In AR-15, for example, a double feed is a real pain in the butt to clear because you have limited access. You have limited access, but uh, it also prevents less gunk and crap getting into the system when it's right. shut. So what are you more likely to, to have as the, the major reason for malfunctions? Is it going to be you know, questionable ammo or is it going to be really harsh conditions? That's going to determine what design is going to work best. You have to pick. And, and, and you know, it's interesting if you take this just a little bit further forward into the mm -hmm. future. Like, for example, I actually am a fan of the uh, VZ-58, mm -hmm. but I bet you that will fail like that. Exactly. I, don't have exactly a, I haven't reasons. tried it. But I bet it would. Yeah. Now, let's move further forward. The F2000. <laughs> I bet we could blow sand on that gun and do mag changes until we got tired of doing it. Right. Until Everything's th totally sealed up on the FS2000. But if you ever see a malfunction in FS2000 or an F2000, it's an exciting adventure to clear. Throw it away and get in there. Uh, you open the toilet bowl and get in there, but that's another video. But, I mean, it's plus and minus on everything. Yep. Yeah. So, well, I had a great time doing this. Yeah, no, it was interesting. I had more fun filming you in the mud than you, I think I had laying in the sand, but they were both r valuable and useful. Yep. Interestingly, I would not have expected this. The guns handled the mud. Well, I don't know about the M1A, but the, the moss handled the mud better than the sand. Yeah. So I, would, I actually would not have expected that. So, well, and the reason is the mud test 
there's crap on there, but once we start shooting, there's no more ingress of stuff. Yeah, I, I frankly, there's so. no way this could be better because it's DI, and we know that that just, you know, crap's where it eats. <laughs> so this could, this is just obviously, uh, I don't understand, it's inexplicable. Yeah. So, you know, I'll, I'll tell you what I think. I think when this is firing, especially in the mud, it was actually blowing most of that crap out of there. Probably. And that's yeah. DI kind of helps that. In fact, there's yeah. a, you have a still shot of your, your GoPro where you can see the filth flying off the gun when you're firing it. Yep. Something to said there, too. Pretty cool. Yeah, real cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Tune back into InRange TV for more cool real-world tests.